Weight loss surgery, chapter six, complications, part two. So I get admitted into the hospital in a four person room, but the room is for people with poop issues, I guess, bowel issues, I, I'm, I'm not certain, uh, just issues where it's gonna be an issue. Obviously for me, I'm pooping blood. So uh, other people are connected to vacuum tubes or, or and going in bedpans and, that's fine I didn't care but it's a heavy ventilated room which means it's super cold compared to the room I had for coming out of surgery from the bariatric surgery but this room is super cold so I, I am bundled up in a blanket because it's cold um I ended up being be, I'm just like sleeping back and forth I'm tired I'm faint I'm just dead they're they got IV in my arm and they're checking on me every whatever um turns out I ended up having uh like an acute kidney issue um and something else uh internal bleeding obviously from the surgery uh which kept on having blood loss so I was just not doing well um I had good nurses I had good um other staff that was there sorry um i learned from the previous from the surgery night's day what to bring with me and what to have my wife bring afterwards um i had my pillow and my headphones and everything it was great um i taught one of the nurses how to extend the bed further for tall people something i learned by bringing up the video tutorial on youtube for the bed um during my stay I would have to take my IV pole with me and go to the washroom over and over again um, and then have the nurses look at my bowel movement to see how much blood there was so that they can judge if I'm doing better. Food sucked because I couldn't have any. Um, I could. I, all I got was um, soups, um, cream of wheat later, uh, jello. And, and drinks of water, I, think, I, think, I believe. Um, for what it was, it was fine. Uh, once I, my favorite thing was the, the beef soup. That, which it, 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 When I say soup, I mean like stock, like broth. So the beef broth was my favorite. Cream of wheat was nice on the first time, but going further, I was just like, oh, I hate cream of wheat. Um, there was a lot of ventilation in the place. So, um, so you don't have to smell issues from your neighbors it's good but cold trying to think of anything else oh you have to do a lot of walking around both for right after your bariatric surgery and going forward but also in the hospital while i'm having this complications uh, i had to make sure that i was walking here and there to to get gas out uh, and to see my energy levels taking medication was awful because you they had to crush it up and put it in applesauce and you would have to have this applesauce which ends up tasting horrendous uh and downing this horrendously tasting applesauce uh i still have to do that with one of my pills and it's awful after two days at the hospital i was finally able to leave and i was happy bleeding was just very minute and they said well it's it's gonna keep happening but it's gonna get less and less and less so i'm like okay that's great not where I was when I came into the hospital. I'm all right now. So uh, I came out of the hospital and um, yeah, it diminished. The, the bleeding diminished, thankfully, because that was not fun. More in the next chapter.